how much is your truck accident case worth? And calculate the value of your truck accident case. You add your medical bills, lost wages, and your pain and suffering. When you add these three categories up, it's called your total damages. You then multiply your total damages by the truck driver's percentage of fault in causing the accident. You then have the value of your truck accident case or lawsuit. This may sound simple, but it's not. So let's take a deeper look. First, we assign an amount for the pain and suffering part of your claim. In serious injury cases, pain and suffering is often the largest part of a truck accident settlement. Each body part has a different value for pain and suffering. For example, a broken wrist is usually worth much more than a broken finger. This is because a broken wrist has a bigger negative effect on your daily activities more than a broken finger. Your daily activities are things like putting on your clothes and brushing your teeth. Similarly, a broken thigh bone is usually worth much more than a broken ankle. This is because a thigh bone is a much longer bone and it's usually a more serious injury. You won't find a chart that tells you how much each body part is worth. It does not exist. Therefore, the other side's insurance company does not have to offer you a set amount for your pain and suffering. Insurance companies look at past verdicts and settlements when deciding how much a particular injury is worth. It is your or your lawyer's job to present your pain and suffering claim in the light most favorable to you. If you have a video showing you doing an activity that you regularly did before the accident but can no longer do, you should send it to the truck driver's insurance company. For example, let's say that you enjoy playing the piano. However, since the accident, your serious neck injury prevents you from doing so. Send the video of your amazing piano playing to the insurance company. If an 18-wheeler or tractor trailer hits you, they likely have over $750,000 in liability insurance coverage. However, if a pickup truck or smaller truck hits you, they often have a low insurance limit or are uninsured. Now that you've calculated your pain and suffering value, you add this amount to a spreadsheet. We'll assign $75,000 for the pain and suffering calculation for a broken wrist. You can create a free spreadsheet with Google Sheets or Apple Numbers. Using a spreadsheet, will Will save you lots of time. You or your attorney will already be spending a lot of time on other aspects of your truck accident claim. You'll be gathering your medical records and bills and playing endless phone tag with insurance adjusters. I finally got him. You guessed it, I'm not available. Again, keep trying. The next step is to add in the amount of your medical bills. Most people who are hit by a truck are not aware of all their medical bills that exist from their accident. This means that they end up getting a smaller settlement than if you know where to look. For instance, did you know that if you get treatment at the hospital, you'll likely get a minimum of three separate medical bills? You'll get a bill for the facility, another bill for the ER doctors, and one for the doctor who read your x-ray or CT scan if they took one. Now, in a state like Florida, the other driver's insurance company only owes you for your out-of-pocket medical bills and any amounts that your health insurance company paid. But keep in mind, you may be required to pay back your health insurance company for bills that they paid for your treatment from the truck accident. So you need to factor this into your settlement. If you were injured in a no-fault state like Florida, your own insurance company will likely pay most of your medical bills up to $10,000. This is true even if the truck driver was 100% at fault for causing your accident. So now you've already added up your pain and suffering and medical bills. Next, you now add the amount of money that you've lost from not being able to work due to the accident. This gives you your total amount of damages. It's time to see how the truck driver's fault affects the value of your case. Remember, you can only get compensation in proportion to the truck driver's percentage of fault. If the truck driver was 100% at fault, their insurance company owes you 100% of your damages. However, if the truck driver was 75% at fault, they only owe you 75% of your damages. This is true for a state like Florida where you can get compensation in a truck accident case even if you're more than 50% at fault. Since each state laws are different, it's best to speak with a truck accident lawyer in the state where you were injured. To help put 100% fault on the truck driver who caused your accident, you or your lawyer should do the following. Send a written request to the truck owner to preserve the event data recorder. This is the device that captures the truck's speed immediately before and at the time of the truck accident. Don't just sit back and hope the nice trucking adjuster will pay you fair settlement value for your case. They're going to fight your case hard. Remember, 
Tractor trailer drivers have many more rules to follow than drivers of cars. Therefore, truck drivers are often liable for accidents, but you still need to prove your case. For example, tractor trailers are required to have reflective tape on the side and back of the truck. So even if you rear end a tractor trailer at night, if it was missing reflective tape, you may still have a case. Knowing how much your truck accident case worth is a good start. The bad news is that it's not enough to get you paid for the fair value of your case. To have the best odds at getting paid the fair value for your case, you need to avoid the common mistakes that cost truck accident victims thousands of dollars every single day. To learn what these mistakes are, watch this video here or click on the link in the description below. And if you are seriously injured in a truck accident in Florida and you think the other driver